Due to sexual content and strong language, viewer discretion is advised. Just kidding. Dan the Computer Man. Hi, I'm Dan. Welcome back to Dan Computer Man. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to download a video from YouTube and then convert it to the iPod video format. The first thing that you're going to have to do is open up your internet browser. And then you had to go to YouTube.com. Now, search for the video that you want to download. Let's say you wanted to download Charlie. Oops. The. Oops. Unicorn. Then you press enter. Now, search for the video that you want. And right click on it. And click copy shortcut. Now open a new window or tab if you're using IE7. And go to this one website called keepvid.com, which I have bookmarked. Now you'll see this one text box here. Right click in it and click paste. For this drop down box, click on it and click YouTube. Now click download. And please be sure that you have your pop-up blocker set to allow pop-ups for this to work. Then you'll see this link here that says download a link. Click on it. Then I'll come up with this window that says, do you want to save the file or find a program online to open it? Click save. And to simplify this, please save it to your desktop. Now you had to type in the title of your video, like... Charlie the unit. Oops. Corn. Then you had to do a space, then dot FLV. And that's going to take a little while to download. Okay, so here's the downloaded file on your desktop. In order to convert this, if you haven't all read, if you don't have this program already, go to internet, go back to your internet browser, and Google download super. When your search results come up, to click on the second link to make it more simple. Then you're going to need to scroll down to click on this li link that says Start Downloading Super. Then click on this link that says Download and Use. Now I'll scroll down to this part where it shows all the these links for the super setup file. You can choose from any of these four. They're all, they're all the same. But since I already have it downloaded, I'm gonna close this out and then launch super. And note that it may take a little while to launch sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Apparently this time it didn't take too long to launch, so that's good. And for the output container, select MP4. And make sure you have the bitrate for the video set to 1,248 kilobits per second. And the bitrate for the audio to 192 kilobits per second. Now look at that file that you've downloaded from KeepVid. And click and drag it into the job window. And after you've done that, click on Encode Active Files. And there will be a little progress bar right here. Showing you how far, how much longer until the 
video is done converting. So this is going to take a little while. So here is your converted video file. To make it get onto your desktop like that, right click, click Output File Saving Management, and click Desktop. And click Save Changes. Now to make it easy to, to know where you put your video file, drag it into your My Documents folder, then put it in your My Videos folder. Now open up iTunes, click File, then click Import or press Control Shift O. Now you're going to need to locate where your video file is. So here it is right here. Double click on it. And then it'll be imported and it'll have this. Oh, never mind. It, it won't have a long name since I already have imported it. When you import it, it'll, there'll be this long name. You're going to have to right click and click Get Info. Go to Info and get rid of the .fov.mp4 part. In order to, for it to get on to the video, to the iPod video, you're going to have to right click on the video and click Convert Selection for iPod. And this is going to take a little while to, to convert. Alright, okay. so here is the converted file for iPod. Now what you're going to need to do is connect your iPod video. Hold on. Apparently mine has to reboot. As you can see, here we go. And now you can wait for your iPod to load. Okay, so it's syncing my iPod right now, so I don't want to do anything else, or else it'll go really slow. Come on. I think it is almost done syncing. Yep, there we go. So now you go back to your Movies tab, then click and drag the movie that you want on your iPod. Then go to your Movies tab, and then copy it to your iPod. And here it is. You have just learned how to download a video from YouTube and put it on your iPod video. This has been how to download a video from YouTube, and convert it into the iPod video format. See you next time.